you take a more of a libertarian approach, uh, excuse the term, to healthcare than most, because uh, apparently you uh, said that we shouldn't even have Medicare, uh, the government involved in Medicare in the first place. Did I get that right? No. You, 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 what I said was that the government, instead of trying to operate a system, would have been better off if they'd helped organize a system. You know, when the government uh, added prescription drugs to Medicare, you could argue about that also, but you can't really argue that it was the most uh, successful health care effort the government ever made because the government didn't try to run it. The government let the competitive marketplace solve the needs of people, and so when, when uh, prescription drugs were added to Medicare, uh, you had, it's 40% cheaper in now the fourth or fifth year. It's been 40% cheaper every year than the lowest estimate. No other government program in health care has ever done that. It's voluntary, and 90% of the people that could be in the system are in the system. 90% of them think it's either good or excellent, and 100% of them know that they can change their provider sometime in the next 12 months, and their provider knows that as well. Uh, you know, we're never going to unroll, ravel this ball of government involvement in health care, certainly not mm -hmm. veterans health care, military retiree health care that I've worked particularly hard to be sure that we gave our veterans and military retirees what they uh, were promised. Uh, but Medicare and Medicaid uh, don't provide as good a product as if people had more choices and the government assisted to be sure they had those choices like we did in Medicare Part D.